in this video i want to show how to i want to show you how to discover or identify or view only hidden files in linux hidden files in most cases are system files that um that are necessary to ensure the effective functioning of the system so they are they are not available for viewing when you open when you are on your system doing some other things they, they are there so that you don't mistakenly delete them because if you delete them you may discover that um, there will be mal malfunctioning of the system and some files can also be corrupted or even um, permanently uh, get removed so if you for anything you want to identify those hidden files on your system there are many ways of doing that so i'm going to be showing you some of those ways at least about four or different four or five different ways of doing that now to show that in most cases you need to combine um, multiple commands in order to identify or to get the output that you are really interested in and that is done through the pipe so let me look at the so let's look at the first one to identify the hidden files. For example, this is my Linux command, the, my Linux system. So in this particular way, for example, if I want to determine to see the files I have here, the files and folders and whatever. So with the ls command, with, which is the list command, you can see that these are the folders and files I have. So you can see that this is the, a zip file, a text file, and things like that. So what happens is that there are many other files in this particular directory, but they cannot be seen like this. They are hidden. So to identify those files, I'm also going to be using the list command, but I'm going to be adding some switches and then there's some other commands and a switch. So to do that, I'm going to be having with the list command with the A switch. So I'm going to be explaining what this means later. So with the A switch then, so that is going to have a list. Then with the grep command. So what the list command shows is that it has to identify, to show all the files and directories in the in the current working directory, that means in this particular directory I'm having the root directory. So it helps to have a list of all those ones to identify those ones. Then with the grep command, with the grep command, it is there to have to filter the output so that it gives me what I really want. So with the grep command, I'm going to be using a filter. So which is going to be with that particular filter. So with the filter, I now have this. So what this does is that in that it, it helps me to only it helps it is telling it is telling the system that you, it needs to only show the items that starts with the dot. That means only the files that start with the dot. Because the files starting with the dot are system files. They are hidden files. So that is what the grep command is doing now. So with the list command, it is telling the system to have a list, to show a list. But with the grep command, it is saying that out of the list that is going to be shown, only the files with certain features need to be shown. So that is what this means in this particular case. So now, so I am not going to be adding that. So with this now, so with that output, so it, it has to have a beginning and an end. So in order to do that, we, we are also going to be having another grep command. So which in this case, then with the V switch, Okay. So that is what I have in this particular way.
So we have this to identify the files that we need. Okay. So with this now, I have now been able to identify the hidden files. So with this particular command, I can identify the hidden files um, in Linux. So there is another one that can be used, and that is the find command. The find command. It can be used to also show only the hidden files in Linux. So I am in the same directory. So to do that, I'm going to be using the find command. This is very, very simple and straightforward. So which is going to be the, with the max depth switch. So with this, I am asked, I am telling the system to only show me the names. So we have this. So with the dot, that means I am not restricting the file. I'm telling the system to show me all the different hidden files I have, I have in that system. So with this, now this shows me the files that are hidden with this particular command, with the find command. So this is another way of identifying, of viewing hidden files in the system. Then another method is to also make use of the list command. And with the list command, I am going to be making use of the D switch. So which is going to be the, the list command with the D switch. So we have this. So with this now, I also get the same thing. So this, with this command, I can also identify the different um, hidden files in the system. The, 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 the list command can also be used in an, another way, which is going to be with the A and D switches. That means putting the switches together. So this, the, this particular command also does the same thing. So this is a very simple command, which is not as complex as the first one we looked at. Then another one is the define command can also be used in another way. So with the mean depth um, switch, I can also identify the hidden files in the system. So that is what I have in this particular way. So what this particular find does is that it is telling the system to only search the current directory. That means only this directory I have. And with the main depth, it is telling the system to exclude the single dot and double dots from the list. So with that particular one, with the max depth, this which is also having the same thing, which means it is telling this, the system to only limit the search to the current directory alone. Why would the name switch, which is got just going to be with the file name? That is what is needed in this particular case. So with this, I can also have a list of the hidden files in the system. So that is what happens in, in this particular area. Now, the one thing that one needs to understand is that all these files are files that are meant to carry out specific functions for the system. They are not website files. They are not um, files that uh, they, they are not uh, images. They are not pictures. They are files that are needed for the smooth running of the system. So that is one thing that one needs to really understand about um, this. Another one is that with the list command, for example, if you are making use of the B switch, if you use the B switch, it is going to ignore files that are having the GUF file explorers. So that is another thing that you can, you need to be aware of at this particular time. So those are the different ways through which you can really show the hidden files in the system.